want to be able to do a massive amount of damage in the form of status well today i'm going to tell you guys how you can inflict bleed fire ignite poison and wither all in one single hit and the beauty about this you're going to be able to do this and not take any damage that sounds amazing right well that requires a little bit of synergy and i'm pretty sure you haven't still the build, uh, seen a build like this anywhere so i want to show you guys this unique build and also some unique weapons that make this build kind of just shine and decimate anything that comes your way now the one thing i want to say about this build guys is i always highly recommend you guys start off with a character that's going to let you guys get at least through mid game to the game at least to level two without having a lot of difficulty of dying over and over again so i recommend starting off with a radiance build an inferno build just to the simple fact that these will help you carry through really fast in addition to that you're able to change it at any time that's one of the beautiful things about lords of the fallen is that it doesn't really matter what build you pick up you're always able to switch it up and play in a different play style and i'm telling you guys this build is going to have you guys enjoying the game a lot especially in your second playthrough on your first playthrough because it gives you a whole different variety of play style but like always guys i'm going to start off with how you should start out the character when you put your stats where should you allocate the stats as you progress to the mid game and where should you want to end up once you get to the final stages so with that being said guys as you're watching in the gameplay this build pretty much decimates any mob that you have around you it just pretty much one shots every single mob mobs are not that big of an issue when it comes with this build it's just, just pretty much hitting them once and they're completely dying now where this build shines exponentially is when you guys are fighting bosses because you're going to be doing a ton of damage to the bosses and not be taking damage all right so let's dive in into these stats so the first thing we want to do guys whenever we're starting in this character with stats depending on where you know you have the 18 points or we don't you're always going to want to prioritize vitality i would recommend you have the vitality to 20 that's going to give you a nice starting point it should give you a nice strength uh you know boost in survivability we're going to dump uh three points into strength and we are going to jump a couple points into agility because most of the weapons we're going to be using are going to be agility focused weapons and this is where we're going to be getting a big amount of chunk of our damage from so we want to make sure this is you know leveled in par so we're going to leave it like that so this is going to be kind of like your base starting point so this should get you through level one you know level two around there and you should be good as you're collecting weapons now moving on forward we're still going to be dumping points into agility because once again our weapons are going to be scaling and we should theoretically get to the spots where these weapons are allocated at least one of the weapons is allocated relatively quickly if you speed run it, you could actually get this weapon within an hour so it's really fast to get the uh, to get this weapon in addition to that guys what you want to do is you just want to dump a little bit more points into strength so we're going to leave this at 16 and then we're going to dump more points into vitality and we're just dumping as many points as we possibly can 30 should be the sweet spot we're then going to get agility to 30 just to make, match that and this should give us a nice solid start then we're going to go ahead and dump a little bit more points into endurance and we're going to leave this capped at 20 and last but not least guys we want to dump a couple points into radiance because we're going to be using a couple spells that are going to require radiance to be a little bit high here so that should give us a nice starting point after we have all of this completely set up this sh should be like your mid tier now where do you want to go you want to start dumping points into agility because these are where the weapon skin is going to happen we're going to get a 50 here and once we get a 50 we want to make sure our vitality gets all the way to 40. this is giving us a nice amount of damage a nice amount of survivability and allowing us to maximize this very well next thing, guys we're going to dump a couple points into inferno just to increase the boost of the weapon we're going to be talking about the one we're using and that should give us a nice solid start and then what we're going to do guys is we're going to keep pushing our agility all the way to we max it to 75 that's going to be our end goal 75 in agility and that should give us a very nice solid start next up guys we're going to go ahead and push our endurance to 30 here and that should give us a really good boost here we're going to push our radiance to 20 and that should give us another really good boost here and last but not least we're going to dump some points into strength that's we're going to put the points at the 20 and last but not least we're going to dump the rest of the points into radiance and back one more point into strength there's a nice proper build here that's going to give you a ton of survivability and it's also going to give you a lot of damage with the weapons now speaking of weapons what weapons are we using to make this build and how is this build synergizing with everything one of the first weapons we're using here guys is the blood loss now the blood loss is interesting because this weapon doesn't get enough credit but the beautiful thing about this weapon is that it scales off agility that's where we jump the 74 points there it skates on inferno that's where you put 25 points into there you could put more points into inferno if you would like just to boost it a little bit higher but the main reason we're running this weapon is because this weapon is going to inflict bleed 
and it's also going to inflict ignite which is really really good right and wait guys the synergy doesn't stop there because the next weapon we're running is the rosemond sword and this particular weapon scales off of everything it scales off of strength agility radiance and inferno so wherever we dump stats on this weapon is going to be hitting harder because remember we dumped about 20 points into strength we dropped 25 points into inferno 25 into radiance and we have you know agility at seven need five and all of these are based off b rating and the cool thing is that the radiance in inferno is off a b plus rating so that's going to be really solid for us but the reason we're using this weapon is because this weapon applies wither so right off the bat just off our sword just off our second sword we are being able to apply bleed ignite and wither so that's three elements right there now where are we going to be getting the additional element that's going to be coming from our catalyst which currently right now we're losing the lost uh, uh the lost catalyst you could use this one this is the best catalyst in the game but if you don't have this catalyst you can use any other catalyst that lets you use umber casting which could be this one right here this one's pretty good you can pick this one up from the guy that sells uh you know unless you upgrade your lamp the charm one which is not a bad it's a b scaling it still does pretty solid damage but you're going to want to make sure, uh, you know, that you try to get this one that I have here because this is the best one. So what we're wanting as far as spells are concerned, there's only three that are going to be your main bread and butter. Uh, you're going to want to watch the Umbral Orb. The reason why we use the Umbral Orb, this is just to get, allow us to fight from range. So there's an enemy pretty far. This is what we use, especially, you know, those bow and arrow guys as we get later in the game. The next one we use is called the Lingering Despair. This is actually a really good one. This is mostly for bossing. As you saw me kill the boss here, I threw that right in front of his feet. It blows up and applies wither. It's actually a really crazy mod and does a crazy amount of, uh, of damage. Not a lot of mana cost, so it's really good. And the last one we're using is the Poison Weapon. Now, the reason we use the Poison Weapon is because that is going to give us another status effect, which is Poison. So now we're at four different status effects within our weapon. Now, to make this build even more stronger, we're going to be using this pendant called the Pendant of the Burden. What this is going to do, it's going to deal additional damage for every status effect applied inflicted upon the enemy. Since already with our weapons, we're already doing three status effects. And by infusing the weapon with portion, we're doing four. We kind of just need two more to knock off to apply every single status effect on the enemy when we're using our weapons. And that's going to be coming from the form of the rings. We're using the ring of infernal devotion, which what this does is that when you inflict burn buildup, it simultaneously inflicts ignite buildup. So what this is allowing us to do, it's allowing us to inflict the burn, which we're doing with our sword. And when the sword inflicts the burn, it inflicts ignite at the same time. The last ring we're running is the Queen Verna 2 ring. And what this is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to regain health over time. This is really important because it keeps us that survivability up as we're fighting the mobs. Now, remember when I told you guys there is a thing in the game that's going to allow you to do damage to the enemy without taking any damage. Because you guys are probably wondering, Laser, what are you talking about? You mentioned that one. And what's going to allow us to do that is this socket eyeball that we're able to put in our Umbra app. Now, one thing I want to remind you guys is remember, in order to get the main socket effect, you want to apply this eyeball in the first socket socket slot a lot of people are applying it in multiple slots and they're not getting the perk so you want to make sure this is the first one that's slotted within your umbra lamp basically what this is going to allow you to do guys it's going to allow you while you're charging a heavy attack so this anytime you do a charge of a heavy attack all damage is received as wither damage as you're seeing right here in the video that's actually happening i'm getting hit i'm getting that white bar filling up and the beauty thing about this is that you cannot be stopped from doing your charge because it says here, and your posture cannot be broken. So that means when you're doing your charge of the heavy attack, even though you're in the animation, you cannot get canceled off from that animation. The beautiful thing about this is when you strike the enemy, you get that wither back and you get that as far as health is concerned because you're not taking damage when you're doing your attack so you could just pretty much finesse every single boss just by doing a heavy attack getting that wither damage and getting that wither damage once your hit connects and the cool thing is you cannot be canceled from doing it which is extremely extremely op it's broken and i think eventually it's gonna get patched because this kind of breaks the game you could pretty much do any crazy stuff to the bosses what i like to do is i like to go ahead and damage them with one of my spells i like to go ahead and use the uh the spell the lingering despair damage them a little bit like you're seeing here in the video and then end them up with the final attack here charge my attack take the damage and then deal the damage and get my health back 
which makes it extremely, extremely OP. I hope you guys are enjoying our builds. We try to keep them as unique and different as possibly can. We have way more builds coming your way, guys. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when our builds come out. In addition to that, we have a second channel where we have more Lords of the Fallen content. So make sure you guys check that out. Link is down below. And if you do go over there, make sure you say like laser sent me. That would be amazing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.